The origin of human beings has sparked various theories, with some leaning towards religion, while others favor science and evolution. However, they all agree on one thing, the existence of something superior to us. This led to the emergence of the enigmatic Anunnaki, who appear to be superior beings that descended from the heavens and once inhabited our planet, Earth, at some point in its history. Until recently, knowledge about these beings was scarce. However, through the translation of ancient Sumerian documents, the Anunnaki have come to be known as those who descend from the sky. They are immensely powerful beings, akin to deities, who are believed to have played a direct role in the creation of humanity, or Homo sapiens. According to the stories, the Anunnaki were brought to Earth by even higher beings to extract gold from the ancient city of Mesopotamia. However, they rebelled against their servitude, and with the consent of their superiors, they created beings capable of carrying out the tasks they refused to do. By utilizing their own DNA, they were able to create beings similar to themselves, Homo sapiens. In 1958, a series of ancient messages supposedly sent by the Anunnaki were published in Flying Saucer magazine. These messages aimed to make humans aware of their existence and clarify that their intentions were not malevolent, as we were created in their image and likeness. The messages emphasized that the Anunnaki did not consider themselves superior and highlighted the similarities between us rather than the differences. Intriguingly, one part of the message hinted that they had always been among us, occasionally hiding in plain sight to watch over and protect us. The publication of these fragments of the Anunnaki's message to humanity sparked numerous doubts that scrutinized various religions. Are the Anunnaki real? These are questions that may never receive definitive answers. Nonetheless, it is worth considering that there might be superior beings who are constantly and perhaps silently observing and safeguarding us.